Hey. Hello, MN loves. Hello to all the MNL48 members. It is I, Robbie the Lock Robster, the MN Love of LA, going to bring you a different kind of vlog today. Yes, I was supposed to do this last night. However, the rooms in the house where I'm supposed to do my vlogs were all occupied, so I couldn't do it last night. So I'm doing it today. I'm actually at work in the parking garage inside my car. On my lunch break so I have about uh, 20 more minutes on my lunch break so I decided to do the vlog here all right during that time okay so uh, regarding this vlog okay so this in regards to the MNL 48 second general election okay so uh, my first thoughts on it when it was announced is okay I hope my Oshis especially Quincy my Kami Oshi uh, will get, be able to get in to this Senbatsu from on the second general election. No worries, I guess. But then I've been hearing people posting or seeing people posting on Facebook saying that whoever gets last place or something like that will get removed from MNL48 completely. Okay. At first I thought, I mean, that's kind of like unbelievable, actually, to think of. Because I know in election, whoever loses doesn't actually get kicked out of the country. <laughs> or much less kicked out of a group. This is not a, rea a reality show, not like Survivor. Okay, who you get voted out, or Big Brother, for that matter. So this was very strange, and I couldn't, be I couldn't believe it at first, you know. So I just went along about it. Though I still keep seeing the posts that uh, a lot of MN loves were complaining, posting Reduce48 complaining to Halo Halo Entertainment uh, regarding this and I'm hearing talks of boycotting the general election yeah I just took this in stride uh, because at first I mean since Halo Halo Entertainment runs MNL48 they can do whatever they want all right uh, that's my principal thinking regarding the matter okay and I mean the girls work for Halo Halo Entertainment uh, they got into this uh, in this business and we'll just see how it rolls uh, goes through in a way okay so then yesterday what troubled me to do this vlog was uh, something was posted uh, MNL 48 Sha yeah regarding Sha that's right okay so let me just pull up my screenshot uh, what was going on all right one moment okay so yesterday uh, according to the post uh, she was doing an uh, Instagram live okay unfortunately I'm not uh, a member of Instagram nor her follower I don't have an Instagram account okay uh, probably someday in the future I would get an Instagram account but not not anytime soon okay I'm really late to certain Technology, technology or social media kind of things. Okay, so anyway, going back. Okay, move. All right, wait. Mm. Okay, won't want to move. All right. Okay, just a moment. Just trying to find that screenshot. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I believe just posted on the MNL48 Fanboy Alliance group page. Okay. So. Uh. The Alliance is feeling sad. IG Live ni MNL48 Sha right now. She's thanking her fans. She doesn't even want to sleep because she knows what's coming. Okay. So, I didn't know what actually was going on here. Okay. Uh, but reading the comments uh, from that post. Okay. Let me just show you the post right there. Okay. Hope you can see it. Yeah. That's Sha right there. And she's crying. Okay. From the posts I read... Okay. Alright. Sana makuha siya sa Alexa ng siyang spot sa election. Okay. A lot of people are asking. Biglang tumigil ang IG live niya. Okay. Which seems kind of very similar to what happened in NGT48 regarding uh, Yamaguchi Maho where her showroom was cut. So I don't think it's something like this but it's pretty similar. And I believe she just stopped it because, according to one commenter, it was the rush of emotions that overwhelmed her. Okay, so what was she emotional about? Okay, from what I've been reading in the comments, I'm not going to read all of them. 
Okay, she is emotional about the second general election. Okay, I'm guessing she's worried that she might not get that much votes in the second general election and that she would be kicked out or forced to graduate. Uh, if uh, That's the term that's being used, forced to graduate from MNL 48. Okay, which is really sad and really surprising. And yeah, so this kind of like, whoa, uh, this is really serious. Yeah, because if Shah was feeling emotional about this, how about the other girls? Though I haven't seen other girls comment about this. I guess they're taking this in stride too. Okay. So I actually did some, tried to did, do some digging uh, regarding what was actually said or spread about if the news was actually true. So I tried to Google it. I couldn't find, I know, uh, I did some, you know, word search, anything, and no article was popping up. So I decided to go back to Facebook. And thanks to MNL48 Fanboy Alliance, there's a link to Anime Filipinas in which the head of uh, HHE, Hala Hala Entertainment, Paulo Corsawa, talks about the second general election and the consequences if you got to be last or among the group of the persons that didn't uh, get enough votes. Okay, so I'm going to read the article to you now. All right. Right, let's see if I got it right. Okay, all right, so, so this is all uh, Paolo Kurosawa's words. Okay, as for the idol group's upcoming second general election, he stresses that the management group only wants 48 members to be selected for the second generation, as HHE is not yet ready to commit to a larger girl group just like japan okay so we all know about the mnl 48 second generation audition all right question right here if you were not ready to handle that much girls why did you do the second generation audition this early i mean the group is barely a year in its existence and you already did a second generation audition and now you're complaining that you can't handle that many girls and therefore the solution is you're going to be removing several girls because you want a solid 48 member group okay so as far as i know the total girls in the mnl 48 plus the kenku say is 57 so are we talking about you're going to be removing <clears throat> nine girls, which would make a solid 48? Because since the Kenku say I believe, are now included in the general election, they could get spots in the 48 list. So some might go down from that list since, as the Kenku say is now included. That's my belief anyway. So... I actually read another post, well, uh, like a group post from like a group chat saying that 30 members would be forced to graduate from MNL 48 when it comes to that. Okay, so I'm a little confused regarding how the second generation gets involved in this. Okay, so are they making space for the second generation and how many second generation uh Appliers actually have gotten through this audition. Okay, so let's say if you're gonna remove 30 of them So let's say a solid 48. So you're gonna leave like 18 girls left So there's very uh, very big confusion on my part on How is this going to play out? Okay, and that's very concerning for Shah right now Okay, so continuing with reading the article Okay, my plan is limited to 48 slots only. Unlike AKB48, it is very different because each individual came from different talent agencies and they can survive, Kurosawa says. Pero, lahat under one roof. Doing management, production, promotion. We can't allow 200 members. It will be impossible. So that goes back to the question, why did you hold a second generation audition if you can't handle that many members? Okay. If people support these new girls to be elected, 
it will happen. While those people who does not want the existing members to stay in this position, it will be fair, and I want a fair election this time, Kurosawa notes, adding that he wants to have an equal exposure for all girls in the second and in the first and second generation, as also expecting lots of votes on who will be the next center. Okay. Regarding this, not every girl has been exposed yet in the first generation. Okay, so if we do the Senbatsu, we already had like three Senbatsus uh, within the first year of MNL48. And not all of the girls have been covered. Okay, if we still count the MN Life episodes, the MN Laugh episodes, the high school episode, sure. But not everyone, because I myself, when I watched high school episode, I didn't feel that this girl or that girl uh, was living up to potential because they were so quiet. But then again, it's an high school scenario. It's a school scenario. So they have to be like prim and proper and all that. Okay. So that was my mistake in jumping to the conclusion that this girl seemed to be too quiet to be in an idol group. And their personality or their character was not shown. Okay, that was my mistake. Okay, but now watching old episodes from before high school, now I'm seeing these pers these girls have very good personalities and very good characters. Very funny, very smart. And to let them stay for a year and then get kick some of them out is truly unfair. Okay. All right. Case in point. Um, let's see here. Okay, regarding AKB, at least they're managing these girls quite well, you know, and I've never heard in AKB that whoever got voted uh, at the bottom, like under under the 100, the 100, one, top 100, under the top 100, was getting removed from uh, AKB, okay? This is something new that is uh, very troubling to me, okay? Also... Uh, I read one article dated October 2018 saying that these girls were working without a contract. However, according to Abby in one YouTube video when they were when people were interviewing the Kami 7, Abby mentioned that they were under a one-year contract. Okay, now it's your choice to renew that contract after that one year is over. All right. So here here's another troubling thing. Okay, so rather than removing the girls after the election if they get less votes why not just let their one con one year contract expire then if it's their choice well, well then again the company has a choice to renew that contract mm -hmm. then they could go okay or I'm, I'm not sure if the girls have have the option to renew their contract all right for another year okay all right what else am i saying here okay in akb the members have the choice when to graduate or not okay and i know some akb members akb group members they've resigned for various reasons scandal or they feel like you know they're not really doing anything in the group like that okay and that's like in a span of since 2005 that has been happening that's the norm okay mnl48 is not even a year old or barely a year old yet and now we're talking about forcing people to graduate which is to me is totally insane and gives these girls more stress like sha okay she's worried and i think she has a right to be worried about her position in mnl48 now Okay, so, uh, okay, let's go back to the article again. Okay, so Kurosawa keeps saying, I am also waiting for which song it will be, it will be fit for the next Senbatsu members, as it will depend on the Sender girl, what kind of voices and performances, performances she has, Kurosawa adds. Continuing, Kurosawa says the plans regarding the general election, as well as the future direction ML48, has been given the go-ahead by Yasushi Akimoto, the overall producer and brainchild of AKB48. This has been planned already, excuse me, Kurosawa says, adding that their system of election will be rocked, will be watched 
by the other teams. Kurosawa says those who will be voted out on the second general election, which will air on ABS-CBN's noontime variety show, It's Showtime, will graduate on the same day. He also urged fans to wait for the list of candidates for ML48 second generation, due out in the coming weeks, before doing their campaigns. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that ends the part of the article, which is in regard to the second general election. Okay. All right. Just a few thoughts here. Uh, I like to. I like more to add. Okay. So forcing to graduate, forcing graduation upon these girls. You know, I mean, these girls, especially this first generation, they work their butts off to get into this group, and now one year later, you're kicking them out. Okay, this is very unfair. It's very unjust. And, I mean, you're hurting the girls more. I mean, you should just, just leave it to the chance that the girls would decide when to leave the group. I mean, even earlier on, like, four, four members uh, left. I mean, five. Total of five full team members of AKB48 left because the training was hard for, for personal reasons. Especially the Kenku, some of the Kenku say, uh, I'm not sure how many total Kenku say were there, maybe there were like 18, I think. Okay, I can't remember, but there are only nine left now. Okay, so they had a choice to leave, resign, whatever. Okay. Okay, but now you're forcing them to leave what they love and what they, uh, what they, you know, uh, to be an inspiration to these fans. And regarding the fans, I'm not sure uh why they have to leave in the first place so i'm not sure i guess i don't have statistics regarding the handshake events and i know especially now that uh mnl48 is now really getting popular they're getting more mn loves and uh i did believe the handshake events uh prove that by getting more fans in so regarding the statistics i'm talking about i don't know which girls which of the girls have less fans to justify this forced graduation. So I'm thinking the uh, HHE is basing it on how many fans some of the girls have. Okay, so let's say the popular girls on MNL48 like Shecky, Sela, Abby, Fate, you know, they're comfortable in their position because they know that they have a lot of a lot of MN loves backing them. Okay, so I'm not. If I'm going by what everyone is saying about Shah regarding she's upset as I've not seen the video uh, and that she's worried that she might get kicked out okay she might be justified in worrying maybe she does not have that enough M and loves backing her and she could be seriously worried and I'm thinking myself I could I could pin pound, uh, pin, <laughs> pinpoint certain members that do not have that many fans in my opinion, mm -hmm. that might justify HHE to kick them out, especially when it's it, when after it, when during and after the election period. Okay. So, if Kurosawa thinks that the girls would resign or graduate on their own. He has another thing coming because based on the handshake events, their mini concerts, their fan their fan base is steadily growing. It's impossible now, especially now, for them to leave the group, especially gaining this massive little by little popularity. Okay. So if you remove these girls forcibly, you are hurting the fan base of MNL48. Come on. Why can't you see that? Now now that you're gaining a fan base for ML48, you're going to be kicking out these girls and then taking their fans away from them. Away from the fandom of ML48. Then you're going to be back to square one, so to speak. Because now, instead of gaining more fans, you've lost fans by kicking out their Oshis. Okay? So this... This plan that you're talking about doesn't make total sense. 
Okay. <sighs> okay. I had to let that out. All right. At least I'm not using cuss words. Okay. So the the thing. All right. Let's go to the solution. All right now, because as I've already talked, the plan, uh, uh, Kurosawa, Mr. Kurosawa's plan, does not totally make any sense at all by kicking out members just to get the next generation in. Okay. So what, what solution, as MN loves, we could do to hopefully change Kurosawa, Kurosawa's mind, H H E H H E's mind, or AKS's mind because according to Kurosawa, uh, AKS knows that they're doing this. Okay, so my solution and some of the MN loves have already posted on Facebook what the solution is, is to boycott the second general elections. Yes, if no one votes, everyone gets zero. Okay, that's a very good plan and that should be an effective plan to change Mr. Kurosawa's mind, okay? Because if none of us fans votes, then there's no reason for them to remove any members at all, okay? I know this is a risky plan. It might not work. But if we do love MNL48, we have to do it for the girls, okay? I am a DD. I support everyone even though I have... I have favorites. I've announced who my favorites are. But I don't want seeing other girls being kicked out due to some fault of an election process. It is crazy. Okay. Okay. So I hope this video reaches all the MN loves. And I hope you could back up this plan of boycotting the second general election because like I said it's a crazy idea it's very hurtful for the girls it's very hurtful for the fans and this is a, an injustice really these girls worked hard and now you're gonna force them to graduate for no reason whatsoever because but of a voting result of getting low votes it's crazy Okay, wow. That took a lot out of me. Alright. A message to Shah. Okay. Shah, I believe uh, you posted on Facebook that you're feeling okay now. But I guess you need to let those emotions out of your worry. And that's totally alright. We need some form of release uh, of all these emotions. Like me, myself... Doing this vlog has released a lot of emotions in me, this rant, so to speak, just to let out my anger of what Mr. Kurosawa, Halo Halo Entertainment, AKS maybe, is are doing to you girls. You girls was able to achieve your dream, and now they're saying that after a year, after the election, they're going to say bye-bye to you, okay? What's just also unfair is this news comes at the heels of your upcoming major concert in April, which it is crazy. I mean, you're trying to build these girls up and now you're going to bring them down all of a sudden. Okay, I've ranted enough and I need to get back to work. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you share it with other MN loves. Okay, I'm doing it this just because I care for you girls. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm calling for a boycott, but then it's not just me. Other MN loves are calling for a boycott of this general election because we know it's fair. Okay, and thank you, Shah, for letting us know your feelings about it. And it's okay. It's okay. We're, we're going to back you up. And hopefully this boycott will work in everybody's favor. Okay? It will change everybody's mind. And everything would be good in MNL48. Okay. Alright. So, this is Robbie, the Lock Robster, signing off.